Hello guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video will be focusing on the radio button. Uh, before I move ahead, uh, let me remind you where you can find the radio button. The last time when you were filling your form and you found an option to, you know, to uh, give your gender, a male or female. At that point, you can find a radio button. Now, how can you control a radio button? It's quite similar and simple. Now, let's see it one by one. So, what are radio buttons? Radio buttons are you know, normal uh, HTML elements which are used to check that the value is true or false. We can easily locate by an, uh, this by you know by ID, uh, by name. So whatever parameters that are there, all the locators that were there being used till now, all can all of these can be used with any web element. And radio button is also a web element. Okay. We generally check, you know, that if the value is either selected or deselected. Apart from this, we can also check, like, is there any default value for the radio button? By default value, uh, we mean that, uh, is there any value that should be, you know, pre-selected or pre-defined if in case none of the option is selected? This comes as an example of a radio button. So, this is a radio button which we are, you know, having uh, three options, male, female or other, and we need to check it and use it. Now let's see what the properties we can, you know, play with or how we can work on a radio button in our Selenium Web Driver. Selenium Web Driver provides an option to click a radio button. Like by for toggling a button, we use the click method of the radio button. After this, if we have to check that is the value selected or not, we do it by the is selected function. And if in case you want to find that what was what is the value or the text in the radio button, we get it using the get attribute method and we pass the value over here. This returns whatever text is there in the radio button. So this is all about radio button. Now let's have a quick demo where you will be seeing how a radio button actually works and looks like. Before getting started, I would like to ask you, you know, like uh, how and where do you actually find your radio button, right? So for that, let me quickly open up my Firefox. In my Firefox, I would navigate down to the automation practice form that we have been using. So in this one, what do you think that, you know, are radio buttons, right? So, you know, the gender option or the sex option that we have is a radio button. And the years of experience is also a radio button, right? So now, uh, how do we find these radio buttons and how do we select them? All these things would be covered up into this particular session, right? So, without wasting time, now let's get started with opening up our Eclipse, right? So here's my Eclipse. In my Eclipse, I am having a project, like I'm creating a small project named as Radio Button Demo, right? You can also create a same or can give your name as per your convenience or your requirement, right? Into this one, you would be finding a source folder or the SRC folder. Into this one, let me create a new package, right? So I create a package as a Radio Button Demo. So I click on Finish. Into this particular package, I create a new class and I name the class as radio button demo. Obviously, I would be needing the main method into this class. I select this one and I click on finish. So here's the one that I've got. Now, what I would be doing is, so what is the very first thing when we, uh, to get started, the very first thing to get started is, to set the property right so how do we set the property we set the property by system dot set property what property do we need to set we set it as web driver dot geeko dot driver now here we would be simply mentioning it as geeko driver right so now, what is the use of this one? This is basically setting up my Geeko driver because from 3.0 or 3.0 and in Firefox versions above 47, we need to use this particular Geeko driver, right? So the next line is to create the object of the web driver exactly. I create the object of the web driver and I name it as driver equal to new Meronte driver. After this one, my step is very simple. I need to get the URL, so I quickly navigate down to my Mozilla Firefox or to my Firefox browser. Yeah, so here's my Firefox browser. I copy it and here I pass this one. So, 
once my you know once I have got this particular uh, driver into place what I'll do is I would be needing a list of elements right why do we need element we need element because you know list of element because in this particular case you know like radio buttons there is not a single occurrence of radio button right there would be multiple radio buttons so to navigate over them we need to have this particular list of web elements I'm naming it as gender underscore radio equal to now how we find it the the entire step of the procedure remains same we will be using driver dot find elements and using by dot let me choose you know what uh, locator I can actually use for this particular radio button I go to inspect element so the name of this is six right so I am using by dot name and in the name I pass whatever name I copied from here right so quite simple quite easy and this is done let me see what error it's giving it's asking me to import the by one and still it is asking me okay yeah so now what as has been done over here is I would be getting a list of elements right so this gender underscore radio would not be one particular uh, element but it's a list of elements and the advantage of using find elements is also one more that we don't get you know no such element exception in this particular case right so now what I'll do is I'll have a boolean right now what is why do we use boolean we use boolean just uh, you know just as a true or false uh, case something like that right so now I will check that you know is my if mail is selected then uh, say I would print that yes the mail is chosen right so how do I get this uh, you know select is selected or not I need to navigate down to the list into the gender radio right I go to the gender radio and here I say get now what I need to get is that is the first element of the get zero is selected so what it is doing is that it is basically navigating down to the you know to the list and in the list it is getting the very first element at the zeroth position and then it's checking is selected right say if this is selected you know if I write it as if value right if this is selected then my case should be I will simply you know sys out you have chosen mail and you know if in case this is not selected or I write it as else I will simply copy this one and it would be female right so now also I'll you know uh, help you to traverse down or you know to say uh, what I'll do is I'll print the total size of this array list right so I write it as gender underscore radio dot size it would you know print like what all is the uh, are the number of elements present into this uh, list now let's first run this one and see you know how is it working so this is fine there are no errors I go to the project to the project into my Java class and I say as run as Java application so okay let me check uh, into the new page there's a catch guys see none of the values were selected and it printed that you have chosen female why because we didn't check that if you know the in this particular gender radio if the first value or the the element is selected or not right so here we need to again check that you know if this is selected then print female right and if in case you know none of these is selected right what we will do is uh, let me have a new flag in as flag if this is selected then I'll set 
flag equal to one. This flag is just a counter and just to you know just to make make sure that you know if the value is selected then I don't do anything right. And I come out here of both of these uh, uh, you know ifs and I said as if flag equal to equal to one equal to equal to zero then what I'll do is I'll select which one whatever one I want to select let me select male right so how, what I'll do is I'll pass it as gender underscore radio dot get zero dot click this will select the uh, male option onto this particular page right so now let me run this so there are two uh, elements on this page from this is out and if you go to the page we would see that yes it has selected male right very simple very easy you can now work with this particular year of experience and you know you can try all of this at your uh, on your own to have a better understanding of you know the working of the radio button so guys thank you all for joining this was all about radio buttons